What is it? Okay, I've switched to a public channel as you requested. Now answer our questions. Hey! Who is this? If it isn't Alpha's little... I mean, the sentence. We'll be asking the questions, Jeremy. What is your location? I was just about to thank you guys. I'm inside the seed storage, which... You guys so kindly cleaned up for me. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of the Vulcus. I was able to swipe some highly concentrated Kuiper and organic matter all because of you. <laughs> when did you... Idiot. Did you forget what I can do as soon as you couldn't see me? There were so many blind spots. Until SMO blew the place up, that is. I don't know why you're all making such a big deal out of this guide. She can't guide anyone. She couldn't even find the Ironheart when it was inside a quantum storage box. Jeremy, have you thought about surrendering? Think about the lives of the innocent soldiers you've influenced. Don't you think our bigger concern should be the future of humankind? I'm sick and tired of the incompetence of Albion's military commanders. Actually, having the Ironheart, which we worked so hard to get, why are we so fixated on using it on the dimensional wall? Do you really think this fight will end just because we closed it? Even if we stop the Colossi from coming, how do we plan to deal with all of the remaining Vulcus and Ingress? We have more casualties daily than there are new recruits. You think descendants will make a difference? Huh. Even if we can clear an entire battlefield, do you really think that's enough to turn the tide in this war? You're deluded. Descendants are just as vulnerable as the rest of Albion's soldiers. We're all mortal. And if the Magister's equipment breaks and our army runs out, descendants will be nothing but frail human beings doomed to die. But the Vulcans, they to advance even as we speak. The Iron Heart makes them even stronger. Humanity needs to be stronger, and I know how. I'll soon show you. Just you wait. Jeremy? Jeremy! Damn it! There's no way he would have taunted us with an encrypted call that can only be accessed from a short range. I'm positive he's looking for something near the tree. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm ready to blow it all up. Esimo, if the output of the machine installed on that tree is correct, half of the swamp will be blown away. Please calm down. This is so frustrating. I'm going crazy. We need to take full control of the area around that tree.
Volgus are doing to that tree, but it reeks of the same stench that was at the seed storage. It looks like Jeremy came here looking for this stuff too. So we better grab it all first.
sensors are operating normally, and we've seized all the Volgus' supplies. Let's get back to the outpost. We need to wait for Dr. K to contact us about the next operation anyway. busy. Ah, speak of the devil. She's contacting me now. Kate, I'm receiving. The supplies I sent are the ones seized from an important Volgus facility. We identified them as being highly likely to be targeted by Jeremy, so we went after them first. There's three supply boxes worth. These are genetic materials used to create Volgus bodies. If Jeremy wants to emulate the process in the Azorot report, these are the core materials he'll need. But did you say three boxes? Only two have been delivered. Was one intercepted by the Volgus? What are you talking about, Kate? The delivery speed for Albion supply boxes is too fast to be overtaken by standard transportation. Wait a second. Jeremy. His RK abilities. He might be able to grab a supply box mid-air. Damn it. This is the emergency response system. A supply box on its way to Albion has been intercepted. Last known location is in the northeast. There is a high chance that Jeremy grabbed it. He planned this. Oh man, you've given me everything I needed. You have my internal gratitude. Don't worry, I'll be surprised. All forces, I'm sending the last known coordinates of the supply box. Move out. Jeremy trying to make a pet Volgus? That's disturbing. I have a different theory. Everything he now needs. Void energy. Highly concentrated Kuiper. Volgus DNA solution. And the Iron Heart. All of these were used by Eamon when he created Alzarok. Are you saying Jeremy is creating a super strong Volgus that will obey him? I would have expected bigger things from that traitor. Perhaps, as he already has RK. He may be attempting to fuse his own body with that of a Volgus, spawning a new being. Those of Esimo's men who were won over by Jeremy were strongly taken by his words, fully believing what he said. However, there is one thing Jeremy hasn't been able to obtain yet. An energy output intense enough to activate the Iron Heart. Fortunately, I do not detect any facilities in this swamp with that level of output. However, if there are any colossi remains in this swamp in fairly good condition, they may still retain an immense amount of power. Then there would be no need to infiltrate an Albion or Volgus facility. I suspect the remains are exactly what Jeremy is after. Ah! If that's so, that's good news. There aren't any useful colossi remains around here, so we can finally catch our breath. Actually, there is one. A while ago, there was an executioner which failed in an intercept attempt and ended up somewhere in this swamp. This is Volgus territory, and I wasn't in a position to go after it at the time, so I left it. Ah, damn it. I guess there was no way of knowing it could be used for this. We need to find the location of the remnants. I'm gonna blow them up so that nobody can use them. Number 
17 suspending stealth search and converting to support mission. The enemy is on high alert. Jeremy must have riled the alarm. We're trying to obstruct our pursuit. We must eliminate them quickly. Yeah.
shield. Generator guard has appeared. Take the target down quickly. 